Another argument I mentioned a moment ago, I'll just repeat it here. It's an argument that is the closest, I think, that science has ever come to proving the existence of God. It's the Big Bang cosmology. Nobody disputes Big Bang cosmology. We all know that the universe is about 14 or 15 billion years old and it began in this absolutely singular event in which everything seemed to emerge from nothing. Now, either that can happen or it can't happen and therefore there must be a big banger. Either you're going to take this fundamental scientific principle and commonsensical principle, namely the principle of causality, that no effect can happen without a cause, nothing can begin without a cause of its beginning. Either you're going to take this principle and apply it to the most important event that ever happened, namely the origin of the universe, or you're going to junk that principle when push comes to shove. Suppose you saw a large purple rabbit suddenly appear on this desk. Would you say, oh well, rabbits happen? No. It had to have a cause. What was the cause? Well, there's no apparent cause. We're not out on the field, and rabbits aren't usually very large and purple. Uh, so you might look for a hole in the ceiling that fell down, or a hole in the floor that it came up, or maybe it's not a real rabbit, maybe it's a balloon, maybe I'm a stage magician, maybe I had it up my sleeve. So you do some investigations to find the cause, assuming that there is a cause. And if there's no physical cause possible, then you go to a mental cause. It's not a real rabbit, it's a hallucination, it's a dream. He's hypnotizing me. And if there's no physical cause and no mental cause, you don't then say, oh, well, rabbits happen. Nothing can change itself because nothing can actualize itself without being, first of all, actual. You can't give what you don't have. That's the basic principle of causality. There can't be more in the effect than in the cause. That's a basic principle of all commonsensical and scientific explanation. You're going to say, well, I can't believe that rabbits happen, but I can believe that universes happen. That takes a lot of faith, seems to me. I don't have that much faith.